What's up everyone, Karu here, and today I'm gonna teach you a very basic footwork concept that I've been using with my lessons and I've been using myself uh, that helps me move better around the core and hit higher quality ground strokes more often. I know a lot of people are scared of footwork, you know, maybe I'm too old to move well, maybe I'm not fit enough to do well, it's okay, anyone will be able to do this. And this concept that we're gonna talk about today is motion. We're thinking about motion, the goal is to never feel like I'm fully stationary on court. Personally, I hate the feeling of being stuck on the ground, maybe you get to the ball a bit too quickly and you set your feet a bit too early and now you're stuck. I, I hate that, I, I hate that feeling, I think, you end up losing the momentum of your body to hit the shot. I'm, I'm only hitting with my arms, which is not a feeling I personally like. So my goal now when I'm on court is to always feel like I'm in motion. But before we actually work on this, I want us to go back in time to the early stages of learning tennis. You see at the early stages of learning tennis, we kind of, you know, play a lot stationary. We're just figuring out the swing. It takes time to, to learn this feeling of hitting the ball. So there's a lot of hitting stationary. And as we get better, we obviously start moving a little bit more, right? Like the feeds get a little further out and you have to move, hit, come back to the middle and then move, stop, hit, back to the middle, move, stop, hit, back to the middle. And we kind of learn to obviously play a little bit more stationary um, as we're learning. We don't wanna, don't wanna like, kind of like run through the ball, right? That's obviously something as you're learning tennis, you don't wanna do. But obviously as we get better, we start playing matches and rallying and moving around the court, that's when we're gonna start breaking this rule a little bit. And that's gonna happen with motion. You see, when you're playing points or playing a match, it's obviously a lot more chaotic, right? Like the balls can come fast to you, deep, wide, short, you know, high and slow, everything in one point, Everything can happen. And the only way to be prepared for that chaos is to be moving well around the court. That's just the way it is. The ball is not supposed to come perfectly to you. You are supposed to be moving to the ball and putting yourself in the position to hit the ball without having to improvise, without having to come up with like a different stroke. So instead of looking to be super stationary when you hit the ball, right? You move to the ball, you stop, you load, you hit, and then you move, it becomes a bit herky-jerky. I want you to feel like you're always in motion. And the way to do that, you're gonna accelerate and break and accelerate and break, but you're never going to, again, feel versus real, feel like you're totally stopped, right? Like, so if I, if I was playing a point here, I'd just go, you know, split, move to the ball, slow down, hit, accelerate, split, move to the ball, slow down, hit, and I'm just gonna go through those, through that progression the entire time with that rhythm. So I want you to notice here, even just hitting down the middle, that players tend to, especially in this situation, to like stop their feet very fast because the ball isn't creating the pressure to run. So you basically just turn your shoulders, you get to the position, and then you get stuck with your feet here. And this is kind of how it looks like, it's like, and you stop the feet. And, and you, you see the feet were completely stopped way too quickly, right? Like that ball hasn't, hadn't even bounced. Versus, you know, I'm gonna split and continue to move until that last second I can move to the ball. Boom, you see, like I split, I'm moving and I'm pushing, I'm split, I move, boom, I'm timing, you see, accelerate, slow down, accelerate, slow, play, accelerate, slow, play. You see, and I'm gonna stay in that, with that motion the entire time. Now, move me around a little bit, it's especially important if it's moving me around, see. Boom, I'm in motion, see my, pay attention, my feet, yes, they stop sometimes, but again, it's a feel, versus real situation. Something that's very important is you creating this ability of decoupling lower body with upper body. A lot of people, and I see this all the time, to get to your unit turn, it's pretty fast, right? Guy hits, it's a forehand, you just go like this. That's basically where you need to be, right? But just because you got to here, doesn't mean you, you, your feet stopped, right? I can go be here, but I can be moving, right? I can move forward, I can move backwards, can move to the side, I can continue to move, move away from the ball. So you need to understand that just because you got to here, doesn't mean that this stops. You need to continue to continue moving, even if I'm here fast, but I'm moving. And moving. And boom, move. move. 
using mo the momentum from my legs, from my core, from my rotation and my arms, instead of just going, and then it's just like arms. It's just arms. You're just stuck on the ground. It becomes a lot more rigid to, to make your swing. And before we continue the lesson, a shout out to today's video sponsor, Element. If you want to move your feet well around the core, you're going to have to be physically prepared for that and Element is going to help you with that. Element is a tasty electrolyte mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means a lot of salt and no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte mix. And what I love about it, it has no junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. I love these things. I'm taking them to tournaments now. They kept me nice and hydrated in Tunisia. So if you want to try them, Element is offering my viewers, you guys, uh, a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets with any Element order right now. It's a great way to try all the flavors. I love the citrus salt. That's my favorite one. So get yours right now at drinkelement.com slash mytennishq. This deal is only available through my link. Again, D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash mytennishq. You gotta stay physically sharp if you wanna move your feet well. Get yours right now. One thing that you guys maybe don't understand, I just kind of found that out as well, to be honest, uh, as I experiment with this, this concept of motion, is that tension, you know, that feeling of tightness, of like, I can't get the ball like, to go where I want it to go. Um, it starts from the legs, starts from like the feet, from the ground up, up to your arms. Like I, we feel it up here a lot more on our hands and arms. But the reality is like when we are tense, we tend to like just move a lot like slower. We get to the ball. Everything's just so tense here that you need to feel like you're forcing up here, right? See, it's a lot more difficult to swing your racket freely when your entire body, especially your lower body, is just counteracting that. It's just like stuck on the ground, not moving through the shot and just like here, right? Like if I'm hitting a ball where it's like, I just set my feet way too early. See, I was in the wrong place there. Set my feet, oh, that ball is way too close to me again. But if I'm in motion, I don't, I don't get that, that sensation where I'm in the wrong spot. I'm really pushing through it and I can like let it fly. And I know what you might be thinking, well, Karu, it looks like you're stopping in a lot of those shots, even when you're trying to create motion. And it's a feel versus real thing. I've been, I've been using this, this concept with a lot of my students now, even you know, older students in their 60s, just like feel like you're in motion. Just, there's no drill. I'm not here to teach you a drill or anything. I just want you to add this to your mind and make sure that when you're playing, you feel emotion. Again, that accelerate, break, accelerate, break. The feet are moving. I'm split stepping, but I'm not just like landing and staying here. I'm always in motion, right? Like I'm like a boxer around the court, just always moving, always putting myself in the right spot. See, especially in these middle shots, you see how much I have to move to hit a middle shot. I can just like turn and hit, right? I'm moving, boom. I'm moving, I'm always in motion, and I split, and I just, you maintain this motion, you're gonna feel so much more free on court to hit your shot. And I just wanna make it clear, I'm not talking about like just running through the ball. That's completely wrong, I don't, that's not what I want. And some people, they do have, you know, they have more power maybe just from loading and hitting, and, and they wanna feel a bit more stationary, and that's okay. For some people, it might work. But I, I think for a lot of players, especially for amateur players uh, who don't move a, well around the court, this will help a lot. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Again, if, give it a thumbs up if this video is helpful, if you're playing some better tennis after you watch this lesson. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.